Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen, how are y'all doing? Welcome back. This is the Brandon Coin Crypto Daily Mining, whatever you want to call it, show. Uh, this is Monday through Friday, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you're not watching this live, if you are live, I want to thank y'all for coming out. Um, yeah, it, April 22nd, the, this year is flying by, 2019, over before you know it. Um, and I want to give everybody a big shout out. The early birds look like there's a ton of them tonight, so... Um, Oh, Zar420, Oshovo, Wesley Suter, Colin, uh, Jack in the Box, High Tech, Sax Vids, uh, who else was on there? Kevin Holin, Tony Near, Blazing Bob Childress, uh, did I miss anybody else? FTA, old Raster in the house, and Mr. Big Blocks, Pete, Foo Fighter, Carl. Thank y'all for showing up. If you want to be an early bird, all you got to do is just be here and talk in the chat before we go live. Once we go live, you're no longer an early bird. Oh, Templex at the last second. Welcome, Templex. Thank y'all for, for being here. Uh, we have an awesome... This has been this last month has also, honestly just been a good time for crypto. If you're a miner in the bear market, we're just enjoying it right now. Kevin Holen, Brandon Coin, what is a 1650 Ti? Well, let's just let's talk about that. Hold on. I'll take my... Take my shades off that way I can actually see. And um, this article just got put up on hothardware.com. Uh, Nvidia reportedly prepping the GeForce GTX 1650 Ti budget Turing eSports GPU. So let's uh, let's take a look and see what they're saying. Yes, I did get a haircut. Thank you for noticing. Woo! Woo! Yeah, ain't got my mullet no more. We chopped off the uh, <laughs> we chopped off a bunch of hair. So good stuff. Anyway, a bombardment of leaks and rumors suggest NVIDIA is getting ready to unveil a GTX 1650 graphics card to go along with the Turing-based GTX cards that have already launched. In addition, there is now reason to believe that a GeForce GTX 1650 Ti, in addition to the non-Ti variant, is in the works as well, with a whole bunch of custom models by NVIDIA's third-party partners ready to go with the new part. Before we get to the GTX 1650 Ti, let's quickly recap where we ha where we are at the moment. NVIDIA's Turing GPU architecture introduced itself to gamers. Blah, blah, blah. It's currently out is the 2080 Ti, 2080, 2070, and 2060. There's also a Titan RTX, but that's more of a hybrid gaming professional card. So I've got a lot of 20 series right now. We still don't have a 2050 we don't really have that entry level uh, budget card. We do have a 1660 and a 1660 Ti, but they're still over that $200 price range. Um, all the RTX cards have dedicated RT and tensor cores for real time ray tracing and deep learning super sampling, PLSS. They're also comparatively expensive to past generation cards. If stacking them up by model numbers, RTX 2080 Ti versus a 1080, for example, uh, NVIDIA may have overestimated the market uh, for premium priced RTX cards. And so now it followed up the initial launch with lower cost Turing based GTX variants that lack real time ray tracing, hence why they're not called RTX cards, they're called PTX cards. Um, these cards currently consist of the 1660 Ti and 1660. Soon enough, NVIDIA is expecting to launch a 1650 and a 1650 Ti, which WCCF Tech spotted in a listing at the European Economic Community, the EEC. The EEC listing contains several Turing-based cards, both RTX and GTX. This particular listing is focused on ASUS brand cards, and there's several custom GTX 1650 cards in the mix, such as a GTX 1650 Ti Dual and an ROG Strix 1650 Ti. Oh, that's kind of cool. So, I mean, you're gonna we're gonna get like some upper tier coolers on the entry level cards, similar to like a 1050 Ti. How you could buy like you know MSI Gaming 1050 Ti, or you could just get like a you know nothing special single fan. Um, specifications are not available, but our best guess is that the Ti variant will use the same TU117 GPU as the non Ti version, only with more CUDA cores and texture units. It may or may not have faster clocks. It wouldn't necessarily need them to be a better performing card. For reference, past rumors point to the regular GTX 1650 having 
896 CUDA cores, 57 texture units, 32 ROPs, and 1486 MHz boost clock, and a six, 1665 boost clock. Wait, they just said boost clock twice. Somebody needs to fact check this article. Uh, it's also expected to arrive with 4 gigs of GDDR5 memory on a 128-bit bus. So basically, this is directly taking over what would be the 1050 and 1050Ti category. Um, I, I assume that it will run off of the 75-watt PCI Express slot only with no additional power. Because that's like the claim to fame of like the GTX 750, GTX 950, GTX 1050, and even the 1050Ti. It's for that entry level, you know, slap it in a pre-build system. This is probably not going to be relevant for mining. Um, depending on the price depending on the price to performance uh, outside of algorithms that require high high memory so i mean all, right off the top you can't do grin you can't do beam you can't do i mean you're not going to be able to do ethereum here in a little bit like it's not necessarily a great idea to buy a card that's a four gig thinking that you're going to get a long term you know span of mining um out of uh out of ethereum just on four gigs you, what another year i think maybe a year and a half but Depending on how good it does, like on Raven or something like that, it, it may be good to, I don't know. It, we'll just have to wait and see. But still, uh, always exciting to see that new hardware is up and coming. So I'm sorry I missed a lot of the live chat there, guys. Um, yeah. Done. Thank you for the, the compliments on the haircut. Um, let's see here. Brandon Coin, where is BCD, Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, and Ethos? We will definitely check it out there, Sony, near Jack in the Box. Hope it's reasonably priced. I would imagine if they're coming out with a 1650 and a 1650 Ti, and they already have a 1660 and a 60 Ti above that, uh, their 1660 is like 220, and the 1660 Ti is like 270. That means the, the 1650 and the 50 Ti would need to be in that sub $200 price range. Maybe like... It'd be awesome if like they had like a $120 and then maybe like a $170 card. I don't know if that's going to be possible for them, but still, that would be cool. Um, give something for the uh, the entry level uh, budget gamers to actually use. Mac McDonald says, "How much wattage is okay to pull from one household outlet? 110." Um, your vid is blurry. My video blurry. Hey, um, a quick check, guys. Everybody that's watching right now, is everything coming through clear, or is uh, is the is the is it blurry? Vid is fine for me. Okay, it may be uh, YouTube just not being so kind to you, Mac McDonald. Just give it a refresh, and it might might come back up and and be clear again. Uh, or you can check down below and make sure your resolution is set high enough. Because sometimes if you have it set to auto, it'll get stuck at like a super low resolution. Thank you all for that, for telling me that the um, the video is not blurry, by the way. Appreciate it. Um, uh, Foo Fighter is exactly, that's that's exactly what I was thinking. Mac McDonald, it depends on the breaker you have on that circuit. If it's your average, probably typical, like, 15 amp breaker, uh, what, like, max suggested, like, 1500 watts sustained. Clean your camera, page is clean. My camera blurry. Hold on. We got this. Wipe it off. I don't have anything to clean it with. There we go. All right. That's fine. Thank you for that raster. Crypto King, I wouldn't go over 1500 watts on one outlet. Yeah, that that's kind of where I'm at. If you had a 20 watt or if you have a 20 amp breaker on that outlet, you got a little bit more room, but you really need to make sure you don't have anything else running on, on that breaker because not just one outlet could be to one breaker. You know, depending on if it's in a room or in a hallway and it's sharing a breaker. Just be very careful. Do your due diligence. Don't don't burn your house down. Um, now, a word from today's sponsor, Scott Offered. ScottOffered.com, if you're looking to buy, sell, trade, broker, uh, ASICs, graphics cards, anything like that, and you're wanting to step up to the next level, go over to ScottOffered.com. He can hook you up. And also, uh, he's on the board over at the Blockchain and Crypto Mining Association. They have a uh, event coming up the 25th, so in, what, three days. Um, I believe it's in uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and they're doing like an intro to uh, cryptocurrency mining. Um, so if you want to join, they're looking for members to join on to the uh, 
the Mining Association, just go over to ourbcma.org. Both of those links are down below in the description, and I also have a link for the event, so you can take a look at that. Thank you again, Scott Offord. Appreciate it. And let's roll over to the market and look at this spicy $5,399 Bitcoin. Oh, sorry. Sorry, headphone people. Um, I just want to say... We're, we're taking those stair steps up, ladies and gentlemen. We're looking, we are potentially looking at a $5,400 Bitcoin. Like, like that's normal. That's normal. $5,000 Bitcoin, no big deal. No no big deal. We're about to be in $5,400 Bitcoin. No big, no big deal. Um, Will Trog, Web Dollar. How's it going? Web Dollar is actually pretty much down at the moment. I don't know if Web Dollar is going to recover. Uh, they were trying to get listed on the exchange, and uh, that kind of fell through. So before I do anything officially, I, I'm thinking about doing like a um, uh, like a dead coin roundup. Like literally, if it's to the point where you can't mine it anymore, uh, and it's like 100% dead, you can't mine it, you can't move it, you can't do anything with it. Um, I think I might that that was like a, a little video series I was thinking of, you know, like dead, the dead coin review or something kind of show its little lifespan and how it died off. It, but as of right now, web dollar is not looking so good. Um, I couldn't even connect to a pool last week when I was trying to connect. Jack in the box. What I do for a living on a 15 amp breaker, at least. In Canada, the code rules are 80% load at about 1,200 watts to be safe. Well, you heard it here first. Jack in the box, uh, diner, dinner, um, he he tells you what's going on. He's an electrician, so 1,200 watts sustained. Thank you for that, Jack in the box. Blazing Bob, we got an association. Can we get a union next? Ah, uh, power to the miners. Yeah. Let's see here. Foo Fighter, Crypto King. Dorian Gray, I have 20,000 BTC. Dorian Gray, if you have, man, you got 20,000 BTC, you just better hold on to them things because you got a lot of money right now. Holy smokes, man. Nice, to, nice of you to come in here and, and spend some time with us. Foo Fighter says Bitcoin is at 53.95 on Coinbase. Thank you for that. Let's give it a, fre a refresh right here. And we're at 5405 on coin market cap so probably pull, pulling off a different exchange for sure um let's see here mac mcdonald says he wants to add some more cards will trog listed on three exchanges web d is web d is on coin market cap web d web dollar or seven satoshis hmm let me uh let me try to open up and connect to a pool again because i was having a lot of issues the other day if they kind of see here Connected, but my balance isn't showing up correctly and i don't know why we'll get we'll get back over to web dollar for sure i did not know it was worth seven satoshis I had quite a bit of them if i could ever get a hold of them that i think that's the biggest issue here or my lost my here we are there's my stream labs try p2p or gym base for web dollar will do thank you for that will trog um Joshua, gerbil here. Radeon 7 arrives tomorrow. Tell us about the Titan Kudo contest. How many days are left? Yes, we will go over that here in a second before the um, the, the stream goes off. I think we got like 20-something days left on the, uh, the Kudo contest, but that'll be like its own little section here. Crypto King, he, he means he has 20,000 Satoshis. Hey, Crypto King, you think he means he has 20,000 Satoshis. What if he has 20,000 Bitcoin? Woo! Carl M, have you received much bat from Brave donations? I've been in a Brave publisher coming on three months now, and I think in total I have right at 300 bat, or a little under 300 bat that's been donated. 
Um, so I, I think it, that's been awesome. Like, that's more bat than I've ever got before. All right, let's see down here. Dorian Gray, yes, haha, <laughs> closer to 20,000 Satoshis. Oh, I got you. Yes, I did get one, Mr. News Now Uber. Appreciate it. Got some trim for my Lambos. All right, looking sharp. Thank you, thank you. Got to look sharp because, man, we're about to... Our, all our cryptos are about to be to the moon. We got Ethereum at $171. Going on down, Bitcoin Cash, $292. Litecoin's in the sixth spot, sixth spot at $76.99. Further down, Monero's in the 12th spot at $68.29. And Ethereum Classic's chilling at $5.93 in the 18th spot. A lot of green on the board today. Go ahead and get a couple notable mentions out of the way. Bitcoin Diamond looking good at $1.08. Uh, Grin is at $2.75. Beam is at $0.58. Cents. Beam is beaming straight down. This is not good for Beam. Um, what about Raven? Raven Soren. Uh, Raven's going $0.6.2. Cents. Not too shabby. Um, what else are we looking at? Some Etho. Ether 1. 217 Satoshis. A little, little down there. Uh, on the ethos um z coin old mtp z coin is doing eight dollars and five cents looking a little looking a little, a little snazzy savage mine hey savage mine in the house thank you for the five dollar donation there i don't know why it hasn't shown up yet it hasn't even shown up on my dashboard on this side maybe my computer's running a little slow um but thank you for the five dollar donation, bro. And uh, he, he said thank you for the stream. Oh, there it goes. It's uh, alerting now. So got the little Doge's mining away. Um, bro, hey, thank you for being here. And also, if guys want to check out Savage Mine, I don't think he's streaming as much this week. He's got some stuff going on. But make sure to give give old Savage Mine some love. Jump over on his YouTube channel and um, tell him he needs to get back to streaming regularly. So Savage Mine, no spaces. Get over there and, and bother him for sure. Mac McDonald, am I the only one impressed with the 1660 Ti? Uh, no, man. 1660 Ti is an awesome little card for the money. Um, I got one, but it was dead out of the box, so I'm going to get my hands on another one and add it to the daily list for sure. Right. Foo Fighter says he likes everything about it except for the price. Exactly. Yeah, if, if the price could come down like 50 bucks on those cards, those would be like the best cards. But for right now, they're not. Um Blazing Bob Childress. I think everybody did have a good weekend this week, for sure. Let's check a look at the graphics cards. Pretty much across the board, everything was staying the same from when we left off. Um, up a little bit was the 1080 and the 2070, um, but everything else was... Oh, I think we lost a little bit of Satoshi value on direct mining Ethereum, but it wasn't enough to actually go up or down a penny. So that's that's where we're at. RTX 2070 doing 80 cents a day mining on Kudo Miner. The 1080 is doing 69 cents on Kudo Miner, 1070 Ti is 64 cents, uh, and so on down the line. So if you want to pause this and take a look at it a little bit more in depth, go ahead and do that now. If you don't want to, we're going to be rolling over to Amazon Deal of the Day. I am. Amazon Deal of the Day, Gigabyte H110 D3A. I have, I, Gigabyte needs to hire me. Because I have shouted out this motherboard and personally used the, these motherboards for so long. Like, I feel like I'm like a gigabyte guy now. Even though there's other other really good motherboards out there. Brand new, $34.99 Amazon Prime. So that means it could get there in two days. Um, you, you can't beat it. This link is down below in the description. It is an Amazon affiliate link. So if you click on that link, even if you don't buy this motherboard and you buy something else inside that window, it doesn't cost you anything extra and it helps me out and life goes on and we have a good time. But still, $34. That's cheap. Donald Walter says, I bought another one of those at that price. Yeah, you can't beat it. Even just to buy this and like to build a computer out of, um, it's 1151 socket, so your latest socket, and uh, it's, it is lacking on some of the features that I normally like when I buy a motherboard, but still, it's $35. It's so cheap. Kevin, man, hey, thank you for tuning in, and have a good night, bro. It's 4 a.m. over there in Norway. We'll catch you some Zs. Take a good nap. Jack in the box, that is cheap for that board. 
All right, now let's check out the uh, the rig of the day, and it looks like Cozy or Cozy seventeen eighty nine says, "How do I post the rig of the day, guys? I'm new to Reddit." And Style Shifter says, "Just post your text and pictures here." Yes, yes, please post them here. Smiley face. So Cozy seventeen eighty nine or Cozy seventeen eighty nine, just post them right where you posted that. Now we'll go on to the next one because he didn't have anything up there for us to look at. Um, Sax Vids, Brandon, will Re Ryzen processors work with Asus 1070 turbos on Kudo? Thinking about CPU and GPU mining at the same time on Kudo, or should I stick with Intel chipset? Um, absolutely. Are you going to run the USB, the standalone? If you are, I have tested that Intel and AMD both work fine. Um, I'm currently using over to my left. An i5 3570 uh, on the USB Kudo mining software, and uh, I had a Ryzen 3 1200 that I was using for testing on the Kudo miner software, and they both work perfectly fine. Only thing that's different, though, only thing that's different. Um, I'm gonna zoom this in for a second. If you're using an Intel machine, the Intel integrated graphics sometimes don't display out the correct display. They'll display like the console display as it's loading Linux up. But the actual GUI will come out of the like whatever is your main graphics card on your main PCI slot. Totally confusing to me. I don't know why that happens. That doesn't happen on like um, on Ryzen example. Say my Ryzen three did not have onboard display, so all the display came out of the number one graphics card. But on Intel, I had like two displays. The console was coming out of the, the integrated, and then the GUI was coming out of the the GPU. Super weird, but kind of cool at the same time um let's see here what else did i miss brandon coin any rigs of the day to show and i posted in your discord brandon coin in the general box Tony you near i will pull that up yes thank you for that deadwood thumbs up always help it helps youtube send my channel out there to all the people that probably probably don't want to watch it old school gamer thank you for joining in Mac McDonald still can't get bare metal to work. Have you downloaded? Have you uh, have you deleted the image and re-downloaded it? Because every time they update Kudo, they uh, re-upload the image and it's a newer image. And depending on your system, um, it could have been something that would have fixed it for you. I believe they're on seventeen point two right now. Let's jump back over and uh, where where are we at? There we are. So let's look at Chronicles rig today. So Chronicles, if you're on here, please message me on Discord. I'll also post down below. Got a little present for you um the rig of the day for him i started with one rx 580 and a pc almost a year ago and now i have two rigs with six cards each rig one is a ryzen 1700 asus prime x370 pro 750 watt gold power supply and a 1200 watt platinum server power supply running on an m.2 ssd uh two 1070 ti's three 1070s and one 1066 gig and then rig two is a h110 d3a and it's got two 580s one 580 two 570s one 570 okay very nice so he's got a lot of evgas he's an evga lover nothing wrong with that yeah makes awesome cards oh and it, it looks like it didn't post up a picture of your um it didn't show a picture of your uh your radeon rig huh i don't know why that is oh, oh well there we go there's your ethereum address i'll hook you up brother thank you for dropping that in there and if you want, if you guys want to show off your rig, make sure to post it in the Reddit, uh, Brandon Coin Reddit. There's a link down below in the description. Yo, just put both rigs are now in a grow tent. Well, Chronicles, when, uh, whenever you get time, man, update that and uh, put a new post up and show us how your uh, your tent situation is. Very cool, man. Paul Cayley, did you guys see my rigs last week? Yes, we did, Paul Cayley. I think I, I think you actually need to message me on Discord, Paul Cayley. I was. I was looking for you to do that. You missed the video. Deadwood, that's a good question. We're going to talk about that right after this. So I'm going to give him a smiley face, even though he's in here and he already saw it. So now let me uh, let me just let me bring up the screen here for, for dramatic effect. All right. So everybody that is entering in or trying to enter in for the Kudo Miner RTX giveaway, um, I just want to give a little bit of background about what's going on with it. Uh, the other day, which was 
So sometime last week, uh, the marketing girls over, or marketing girl is a girl from Kudo Miner reached out to me and was like, "Hey, uh, we want to, you know, sponsor a giveaway, and we want to give away an RTX Titan or a Titan RTX." And I'm like, "Oh my goodness! Oh, oh man!" And I'm like, "Okay, yeah, we could. I, I would love for one of one of the people in my community to get this card. Like that, anybody that could get this their hands on this card, that would just be awesome." So, um, it debuted uh, April 18th, 2019. That was when the video debuted, and it's going to run for 30 days. So, that means um, May 18th is going to be the deadline to have mined up 100,000 Satoshis worth of Bitcoin. Um, one thing Kudo Miner does allow you to do normally is you can set your payout coin to anything. But for this contest, it has to be 100,000 100, Satoshis of Bitcoin. Um, when you sign up under my referral link, you get a bonus 10,000 Satoshis for free. Don't mine 90,000 Satoshis and then your balance say 100,000 Satoshis and think you have an entry. You have to mine 100,000 Satoshis. So if you sign up under my link, you get that bonus 10,000. You should mine 100,000 So you're, you're, to get an entry. The minimum amount your account will have to say is 110,000 Satoshis. Then you have an entry. Then you're good to go. Um, they're going to be drawing the winner. Uh, I'm trying to get see if I can get like an updated list of people who have already um, hit the uh, requirements. And that way maybe I could show that one night during one of the live streams just to see how many people are entered. I thought that would be awesome. Um, I thought it was actually really awesome of them to be doing this because um, even so far, there's I think there's been like maybe a over, little over a hundred people sign up like they're at the moment they're not like they're not making a lot of money off this so this is this is a really big reach out on their end i don't know if they're ever going to do it again because i don't know if they were expecting like thousands of people to jump on um so guys right now y'all who out there y'all out there have a really good chance of winning this it's not like thousands of people have entered um i can only see how many um Aaron Hedgeman, I didn't get 10,000. Didn't you get 10,000? Wesley Suter, there is a Kudo OS you can use. It runs on a USB. Um, did they stop doing the 10,000 thing on my account? I thought they were still honoring that. Are you sure you signed up under my account? That's another thing, guys. Um, you can't use anybody else's link. And if you go directly to Kudo Miner, it doesn't get you an entry. You have to have signed up underneath my referral link. And some people don't like they're like, why would why would I do that? And I'm like, I don't do just if you want an entry, sign up under my link. If you don't want an entry, don't sign up under my link. It's that simple. So Aaron Hedgeman didn't get a 10,000 Satoshi bonus. Jack in the box diner says he got his 10,000 when he signed up. Uh, Crypto King got his 10,000. Aaron Hedgeman, make sure you did sign up under my link because uh, I'm not. Like, if you just sign up under Kudo Miner directly, I think you only get, like, a 5,000 bonus. Um, it's only under my link and uh, certain creators' links that you get the 10,000. Nub got the 10,000. Hunter, Hunter Mom got 10,000. Paul Kaylee, um, I'm going to drop a link in this live chat right here, and it's actually the video that explains how to do it and how to get entered um, for the RTX Titan. Right, it's gonna be in the live chat, and if you're watching this after the fact, this is actually gonna I'll put it down in the link in in the description below. Secret recipe I already signed up without referral. What do I do? I asked them this question also. You can make another account with another email, and you can sign up under that email under my referral. But 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 don't think that you can go make a million accounts and get a million entries because it doesn't work like that. Because they're watching IP addresses, they're watching MAC addresses. They know how many accounts you got going where, but they're willing to at least allow you an entry on a new account. So don't don't be slipping. Get y'all's entries while you can, and bam, you know. Aaron Hedgeman says it's the man holding them down. I hear you, Aaron. Man, we gotta we gotta we gotta rise above. So Sax vids. If you already signed up for Kudo months ago, exactly what I just said. So you can you can make another one. You can make another account and 
under another email and get your entry that way as long as you mine up the 100,000 Satoshis of Bitcoin. Bam. Um, Jason, I asked them about the VPN thing and that's why they said they're looking at MAC addresses and they also can see the keys on the hardware um, that you're running. So they can actually see, they, they can see more than, than we think they can see, if you know what I mean. Um, yeah, the VPN doesn't hide the MAC address, unfortunately. A lot of people were thinking like, you know, how to game the system and it, it really, there's no way to game it. At least you can get an entry, you know, that, that's, that's it. Um, is there a way to see who you did? I have requested that to them. I'm waiting to hear back and I want to see an updated list of people that have entered and like have got the entry or are still awaiting the entry. So hopefully I'll know that in the next day or two and then we can let people know. Donald Walter, my RX 580 will only mine for Monero. Um, I am actually going to do a video of how to get your 570s or your AMD cards running correctly on CUDA Miner um, because right out of the box, they're not exactly set up. Uh, you have to do your overclocks and stuff, and they will not go straight to, um, to Ethereum because like the Ethereum performance is just bad without overclocking. So that's probably the case of what's going on, Donald Walter. Your memory clock's too low. Your core clock probably isn't correct. Um, and you have to be enabled into compute mode. Because on graphics mode, uh, the profitability of Monero is way better than uh, Ethereum. So you flip into compute. Bam. All right, that was a mouthful. Woo. Sax vids, I'm under jizzbits on your discords. Hit me back. Sax vids, I will definitely do that. I saw that account and I have like like 20 messages I need to go through tonight. I'm I'm not gonna procrastinate. I'm gonna do it. I really am. Donald Walter, I overclocked, but it keeps switching back. That's another thing that, that Kudo Miner is like um a little picky with because of the way the software is set up. Are you overclocking inside of the software or are you overclocking in like MSI, MSI Afterburner? Because uh, um Kudo Miner has their own built-in overclocking tool for each and every different algorithm. That might be, that's, I can, I about guarantee that's probably your problem. Templex says, it's okay that I'm on auto switch algo as long as I'm getting paid out in Bitcoin, correct? Yes, Templex, as long as your payout is in Bitcoin, you're good to go. I'm not, I'm not going to procrastinate tonight, Saxvids. Nub, why did I convert to Ravencoin? I don't know, because you wanted to. Donald Walter, in Kudo Miner, Turned off MSI Afterburner. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Donald. I'm going to make a video. Uh, that's probably going to come tomorrow about the AMD uh, overclocking. And if that does not help you, Donald, then we'll go through and we'll, we'll walk it through together. Because um, you, you don't need to be missing out on, on profits for sure. Paul Cayley, have a good one, man. Peace out. I'll watch for your video. No problem, Donald. Yeah, because I I, ha I know some other people. I actually, I think old school, Um, I don't know if he's still in here watching, but old school over there from the Discord, he was having issues on his AMD cards on Kudo. Um, it, it's some stuff that I've, I've recommended to Kudo. They're going to be changing it and make it a little more user-friendly. Mac McDonald, you're the Kudo go-to bro. Well, right now I'm the go-to bro because I'm, I'm actually working with them on uh, like what's bad, what's good, what needs to be fixed. And there's a laundry list of stuff that they're they're chomping at like day by day. They just released 17.2 um, and I'm just excited to work with a company that wants to further and advance, not only for you know making more money on their end, but they wanna make more money on our end. Cause if we're making more money, then they're making more money and everybody's happy. Got my cat right here. Bam, you know what I'm saying. Crypto King, I can't figure out how to overclock on different algos on Kudo. Well, Crypto King, that will be answered tomorrow when I show you all how to fine tune an AMD card. Because once you know how to do an AMD card, the NVIDIA cards are even easier. Jack in the box on that 1080 Ti mining and watching YouTube. Yeah, luckily the NVIDIA cards put up with my uh, Kudo Miner um, actually a, a lot better than what I was used to on NiceHash uh, or actually any other miner, honestly. Uh, even when miner would drag the system down, where Kudo miner, I can still use everything. So, yeah, yeah, I could actually like right now. Probably gonna say this, and it's gonna drag like crash my stream out. I, am, here's my Kudo miner right here. I'm going to en enable the miner with the CPU off while we're live streaming. 
It's not going to drag the system down. We're actually at 79 cents a day instead of 80 cents on the 2070. So we lost a penny. We lost a penny. Nub says he's on Kudo Miner right now watching this. We're starting up uh, T Rex. We're mining a little bit of Ravencoin, auto converting out to Bitcoin. Bam, we're good to go. Look at this. Hold on. Where's our hash rate at? Are we lagging? Woo! Oh, look at that. We're mining. Getting 21.6. It's probably going to fluctuate a little bit like Ravencoin does. Um, but yeah, look at that. Are we lagging? Nope, we're not lagging. We're good to go. And we're still... Hold on. We're still mining. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. Bam. Nub, 27 on a 1080. Yeah, the 2070, um, it, it varies back and forth. I've seen it as high as like 28 mega hash, 7 mega hash. Jack in the box, doing a dollar and eight a day. Very nice. Yeah, on my CPU, depending on what I'm doing, like live streaming, if I if I have the CPU on, it will definitely get laggy, 100%. Doing that 40.28 on Z Enemy. Very nice, Jack in the Box. I wanted to thank everybody for coming out tonight and um, having a good one. I'm going to be over in the Discord. So if you want to come hang out, chat, play some video games, that kind of stuff, jump in the voice chat of the Discord. There's a Discord link down below in the description. Click on that. It'll open it up. Like, look for voice chat. It'll say, like, the names of people. Um... Let's see here. Nub says if he mines on a CPU, it will shut down the computer. That's funny. Mac McDonald, go, go, go. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So hopefully we're going to see that. Let, let's let's actually look at Bitcoin one more time. Where are we at on Bitcoin? $5,411. Hallelujah. Look at that. Ladies and gentlemen. Next step, 5500 No problemo. Y'all have a good night. Peace, love, all that kind of stuff. We'll see y'all tomorrow, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Tell your friends, tell your family, tell your mama, tell your sister, tell everybody. 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Monday through Friday. Peace!